Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvanian toy collector. And it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And today we'll be reviewing a lot of Marvel stuff, including masks and weapons. And an action figure from Iron Man movie from 2009. So that figure is 14 years old from Iron Man Ironmonger. We're going to look at the weapons first. First, we got Black Panther's claws on the weapons pile. I got two matching ones. All I need is a mask to go with these, and this will be an epic Halloween cosplay set, if I do say so myself. We got this Miles Morales mask. Pretty cool. Cool with some web shooters, though. Next, we got an Iron Man mask. Why not? We got Captain America's mask from Marble. I might decide to cosplay as this guy on Halloween or something. That would be fun, right? Next on the list, we got his shield. Good old Captain America's shield, which you can hold in hand. Hand like so, which is pretty cool. That's all it does. It doesn't move or anything. And you do remember when I reviewed this Marvel Infinity Gauntlet. Yeah, that was one of my favorite Halloween costume pieces, for sure. But now we're getting on to Iron Monger himself. But first, we're going to look at the packaging. You get a nice product shot of Iron Monger. Open cockpit. Iron Man. Product shot of how the suit works and what comes off. The other suit I don't have is the Mark I. I do got the Mark III Iron Man. I don't have this one. But otherwise, a good looking Iron Man. If I good looking Iron Monger, if I do say so myself. But now we're gonna look at the figure itself. And this is a good looking figure. Articulation's good. Elbows. Wrist articulation. Nice. Bend at the knee. Nice. Get a lot of leg movement due to these joints. I love this figure so much, and I'm so glad I picked him up. I think a friend of mine in the neighborhood had this exact same one, but he was missing quite a few pieces. But mine is complete. And it looks good. He's got a Gatling gun. He's got a... Launcher, rocket launcher, flamethrower, which is kind of cool. And if you open the head, like, enough, you can see Obadiah Stain in the cockpit. So that's the open cockpit. It would have been cool if this guy could come out of the cockpit and be a separate figure. But this is a figure from 2009, so this is 14 years old. So, yeah, I am so glad to add this to my Marvel shelf. Because I needed this bad guy in my Marvel collection. But now we're going to get down to some comparisons before we end this video. And I'm having a lot of fun here on this channel with these figures. With some other... Iron Man suits to compare next to. Here we got the War Machine suit from Endgame. You'd say Iron Monger is just as big as that one. Of course. We got the Infinity Wars War Machine. He's a bit bigger than this one. Here he is next to the The uh, Iron Man Endgame Iron Man. Why not? Because I love that design of Iron Man. 
next to my first Iron Man Mark Mark V. Iron Man the Animated Series. Why not? And just because we're going to throw this in the review, because I'm going to review her as well. I'm trying to knock out all my Marvel stuff and be done with the week. And that's all there is to say for Iron Monger. Next on the list of review items, we got this Invisible Woman from Fantastic Four. And I got, this is my second Fantastic Four figure. I am still missing Human Torch, Mr. Fantastic, but I do have the thing right here. And I'm so glad to have two out of the four Fantastic Four. Head is on a ball joint, but it's really loose, and it'll pop loose if you're not careful. Otherwise, that is my entire Marvel toy haul as of 2022. Not 2022, 2023. Sorry about the correction. But yeah, I picked these up personally for my collection of Marvel figures. Whenever I see Marvel figures at Still City Con or at the thrift store... I will pick them up to add more to my Marvel figure collection. And that's all there is to say for this review. This is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out. YouTube land.